In this tutorial we're going to learn how to use the paint bucket tool. The paint bucket tool belongs to the principal toolbar. If your principal toolbar is not turned on, go to view toolbars and scroll down to principal and turn turn on that toolbar. If you miss the interface tips tutorial, you can find that under the setup section. So before we can actually use the paint bucket tool, we actually need to have geometry to paint. So a, an ideal thing to do is to create a few boxes. So let's get the rectangle tool, click and draw out a rectangle, and just draw a couple of rectangles around the place. Then go into an isometric view and get the paint bucket, oh, sorry, get the push-pull tool click on the surface and drag up one of the initial surfaces then go over to another surface and what you can do is with the push-pull tool double click and it will repeat that last measurement. Now that we have a few objects to paint we can test out the different options of painting with SketchUp. So click on the paint bucket tool and the materials dialog will appear then what you can do is from this drop down you could go down and select wood at the bottom of the list and we can select now a wooden texture to use so on the first cube here we're going to just test the initial click and paint so you just click on the surface and paint and you can then work your way around and paint the whole object that is good but sometimes it's a little bit slow. So the other option you can do is you can do a control paint. So if I do control paint it will paint just the object that I've clicked on. So anything connected to that initial face will be painted. Now that's also good if you are only after getting the individual object but sometimes you want to get more than just the one object you want to get the two so if you do a shift in paint what happens is it will paint the original surface but any other colors that are matching that color so if I hold shift in paint it also got the other object because they're sharing the same color so again if I was to select a different wood I could hold shift in paint and click on this object at the start here and it will paint them all because they're all sharing the same color if for example um, we had another wooden texture on the surface here and uh, maybe we we're in this particular texture um, what you can do with SketchUp is if you want to pick up a color um, based on what's already in your model you can hold alt on your keyboard and click on that material and it will then pick it up into the paint bucket so if I hold alt again and click on this wooden material it now makes this the active material again click on hold alt and click on the cherry wood and it brings it up into the material dialog so then you can do a control paint to paint just the individual object or you could do a shift in paint which picks up everything the cool thing about SketchUp is that every material you use is then added into the end model so if I go over to the little house here and you can see it's when I hover over top of it it says in model click on that and you can see here's all the materials that were in this material dialog um, there are some materials left over from um, the, the little 2D woman that was um, in the template that we begun from so what you can do is under the details here uh, you can't see it just drag that over under the details here we can purge any unused materials which takes away a few um, and then you can see we've got our wood cherry original texture if you go to the edit menu we can now adjust that material so we could change its color um, I quite like the HSB setting because it gives you a little bit more control um, it gives you the hue, uh, the saturation how much color you would like to add and the brightness so you can then just easily slide that along until you're happy with the color 
if we scroll down a little bit closer you can see that we can also change the scale so we could go maybe um, 1500 and the scale just automatically updates so if we go down to 1000 it's now just automatically changed its size another feature is that um, we can change the opacity of that color so we can drag the slider to the left and make it more translucent or we can bring it back to 100% no translucency that's a great feature for um, windows and, and um, glass doors if we have a texture that is not quite mapping the right way so the direction of the texture is not quite going the right way you need to make sure the face is painted so what I mean by make sure the face is painted if you have a group you need to edit the group first then paint the face before you can now rotate the texture so you can so once you've um, edited the group or paint the f surface you can then right click on that surface go down to texture position and then under texture position you can move the position so you can use these handles if you like um, if you right click again you can then rotate the texture 90 degrees and place it and then you can get the grain going in the right direction you can also use these handles to um, uh, scale and rotate the texture so I can scale it by dragging it bigger or I can rotate it by just moving the, my cursor and you can use the increments on the uh, protractor here to rotate it at specific, specific angles once you're happy with that um, you can right click and say done and you've now rotated the textures position so here's a quick overview of how the paint bucket tool works if you want to learn more about the paint bucket we're going to go into more depth under the photo match tutorial